So how do you stop a company from losing millions of dollars in funding as an electrical hardware design engineer? The best solution is to use the tools that keep you up to date in real time on things like your part selection, your design, and all that stuff. So far, the only solution I found that does that efficiently, efficiently for me is Altium 365. By the way, if you're not familiar with Altium 365, it's an online platform where you can house your PCB design projects, whether you're uploading from KiCad, Eagle, Orcad, or Altium, of course. Why does this matter? It's because here's what I've discovered in industry. A lot of the practices in industry that we've gotten used to as PCB and hardware design engineers are simply not as efficient. Errors slip through the cracks. There's an engineer who had gone the traditional route of using Excel spreadsheets, doing emails for design reviews, PDFs for a schematic and PCB design reviews. And the reviews weren't thorough. They were not in real time and errors slipped through the cracks. Okay. Including bill of materials. In fact, mismanagement of the bill of materials, actually even just ordering the parts two days later caused one of the components that was only sourced by one manufacturer to be unavailable for three weeks. And the designer had to redo the footprint, pick a replacement part that's through hole, redo the footprint, hold fabrication for a week, fabrication of the PCB, resubmit the files. Then that pushed things back by two weeks, which caused the company to lose funding for that project. The CEO pulled the project. And now something that would have saved the company a hundred thousand dollars per year was a flop. All right. There are other things that happened as well, but this is why it's so important to use modern tools if you're going to be a modern hardware engineer. Now, most hardware engineers I know are using classic methods, okay? Even if they're using online synchronization platforms like Google Drive, Design Sync, GitHub, Git, all that stuff, it's not, it, there are disadvantages to using those. One, you don't get a visual representation of your design. Take a look at this project, right? This is the USB A to C 10 gigabits per second project. Which, by the way, if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, click the link in the description below. There's a course on sale so you can learn high-speed digital design. Design your first high-speed digital PCB in a very short amount of time, in less than a week. And if you can design this board, you're ready. You're more than ready for entry-level hardware design jobs. This doesn't need to be hard, okay? Make the investment if you want to be able to actually work in industry. All right, so here we have this PCB, right? This is the kind of stuff you want any, any software that you have or your environment you have. You want to be able to review your design in real time. Look at the board. Now, don't mind the silk screen being all over the place. Okay, the components are placed properly. I get a little lazy sometimes. You also want immediate access to all the components with their recommended. Are they at volume production? Are they going to cause you issues? This is the kind of interface that we need, not old Excel spreadsheets. We're still going to use those, right? Yes, but this is the information that's needed at any given time. Now your product manager, your hiring manager, whoever, lead engineer, everyone can look at this and collaborate in real time, leave comments and say what needs to be done, changed, without even needing to open up their design software, whether it's Orcad, Altium, you name it, okay? They could just go on the web interface and get work done. This is the kind of collaboration that's needed today interdisciplinary collaboration okay mechanical is on deck we have the schematic hardware engineer we have the librarian who can tell you and update the components for your a library for your entire company right real time in addition to that check this out check this out you can look at the schematic symbols right the pcb footprint preview if you're using other tools that you know, host online files that were not meant for PCB design, you're going to have to download these files. Then open them up in the software. Hopefully you have the right license. Then open up each of the files, double check the measurements, make sure it's good. That's too much work for each of these components. What do you have to, what if you have 200 of these? This is, this is one of the reasons why we have teams. We're moving from, and I'm not saying that we are not going to have teams that are in different silos, right? Your part librarian, your signal integrity engineer. But what I'm saying is if you're going to be a full stack hardware engineer, we're going to be moving from being blind to different pockets of the hardware design process to make a high speed product. And we're going to go from the electrical hardware engineer to the product engineer where you're, you are going to need all this stuff. 
the waterfall uh, setup, the comments, the MCAD co-designer extensions, part requests, live updated information that you can see visually to make you more efficient to get stuff done so you don't cause big losses for you and the company and your reputation. I guarantee if you make any mistakes like that where it's a logistical thing because your tools are outdated essentially, your methods and processes are outdated, which is most of the hardware design industry, let's be honest, right? It Efficiency is going to be is going to tank. Errors and problems are going to arise. And you're a good designer. You're a good designer, but problems show up because we're using tools that are not enabling us to be more efficient with our time. And that makes us look bad as electrical engineers. All right. I'm not saying you have to only use Altium 365 to get your stuff done. I do most, I've done most of my projects, but Alt Altium 365, although I use it now more, I use it more now. Okay. I use it way more now because it makes everything easy and I get information real time. Here you have managed content, design reuse blocks, PCB snippets, all this stuff, content cart. If you want to operate with efficiency, especially as a freelance hardware engineer or someone who's contracting at a, you know, at a great rate, $50 per hour, $70 per hour, $80 per hour, $100 per hour, and everything rests on you, you're going to need the top tier tools that are going to move you forward and that make your skills shine to the company. Don't let outdated inefficient processes, although I do like Excel, I respect Excel, you know, and everything, but they're not made for the electrical hardware design process. This is the future. In fact, it's here now. Start using Altium 365 if you want to really up your efficiency and get prototypes out faster and you can innovate faster to help and serve more people. This is basically a PSA, a public service announcement to start looking at what are your processes and methodologies you're using to get your designs done? Because I'm, t I'm telling you, I know they're not as efficient. I've used all of them. If you have questions, let me know. If you want to be able to design high-speed PCBs like this one, you know, it looks a little clunky, but don't, wor don't worry about the silk screen, okay? With full understanding the reasons why the theory and the application and how to do it in the software, then check out the link in the description below. I have a course that will teach you how to build this board and another high-speed board along with some other boards at a, at a discount. Okay? Black Friday sale, Cyber Monday, whatever it's called. I've discounted it so much because a lot of people, a lot of people really don't understand. And I'm going to rant about this in another video about how big the gap is between what you think you know in PCB design and what's actually needed, necessary to get hired to do the job. The gap is bigger than you think. It's not enough to say, oh, I designed, a, you know, with these protocols. No, 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 no. Design is something different. I'll, so I'll explain that in the next video.